Praise the matchless name of Jesus. This is CORE, Continuing Order, Religious Education. We greet you in the name of Jesus. May God be your strength today. This evening, I want to talk about seeing your way out. Seeing your way out. All through the Bible, God's people have been enclosed uh, by trials and tribulations, fears, and uh, different fictitious fabrics of foolishness. We, we have been in some stuff. And sometimes we stop and wonder how we got there. How did this happen to me? Uh, and and uh, we can't always see our way out. We, we can't always believe our way out. We can't always know our way out. We can't always find our way out. When we get enclosed with trials, tribulations, and hurts, histories, hang-ups, we quietly cry without seeing how we're going to be pulled out of our situations. And, and this theme of seeing your way out is not finding a door you can walk through, and Jesus is the door, John 10, but seeing your way out is trusting the master who allowed you to get in to get out. And we come out with more than we went in with. We, we come out with a shout. We, we, we went in with suffering. Trials and tribulations. We, we had check marks about our faith. Our faith failed. Our faith faltered. Our faith faded. But seeing your way out has nothing to do with you or me. Seeing your way out is seeing Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And, and, and as long as Jesus is Lord, and he's going to be Lord forever, he reserves the right. He reserves the right to hide from you how he's going to pull you out. That even in our prayers, God does not answer all of our prayers. There are, there's, his, there's his direct will, there's his permissive will, there's his secret will. And in his secret will, only he knows what the future holds and who holds the future. He holds the future. There are just basic concepts when we're going through that we need to pull back up from our mind. Amen. Uh, get an email from your mind saying, God is in control. Let that, let that be an ongoing message. Every day you get up, the Lord is in control. The Lord has got my release date. The Lord is blessing me right now while I'm going through. I've learned in whatever state I'm in, Paul says, to be content. I've learned that God, all things belong to God. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, and all that dwells therein. Jesus is Lord. Blessed are they that trust in him. And on a daily basis, seeing our way out has to do with God's plans. I have plans for you, Jeremiah 31. God's plans. God's plans for the elect. God's plans for the save is always glorious. His plans. I have to wait out his plans. He's got plans. And in order for him to have plans, he had a project that he put us into. Amen. Seeing our way out is according to his plans and then according to his power. It takes power to pull somebody out of situations. God's power is, it's, it's Kratos, a bulldozing power. It's there to bulldoze things that are in the way. 
is there to explode things that are way. dunamis, is there to give me light, is there to give me insight, is there to give me foresight, is there to give me hindsight, it's there. Seeing our way out has to do with his plans, his power. Hallelujah. And his purposes. God's purpose for my life is directly connected to my circumstances. And that's why I know two people have the same providence, same plans, same circumstances. What God is doing in your life, he's not doing in someone else's life. What God is doing in somebody else's life, he's not doing in your life. What God has allowed in your life, he has not allowed in somebody else's life. And that's why we have to be careful even sharing. What we need to share is the victory, not the venom. God, God allows us to go through stuff so that he can see our way out. And the songwriter said, and when I come forth, I'll be like pure gold. What does that mean? It means you got to come out. And when, not if, and when I come forth, and when I come forth, and when I come forth. So when you get up in the morning, you ought to say, I and we, I know all things are working together for the good. I know I'm in his plan. I know I'm in his purposes. I know I'm under his power. I know he's my peace. And, 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 and you got to keep reassuring yourself that you're in the hands of the Most High God. No man can pluck them out of my hands. That's our security place. The Lord is my refuge, Psalm 46, and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Though the earth be removed, though the mountains be cast back into the midst of the sea, a reversal of creation, though the waters roar thereof, there is a stream Lord, show me my stream that I take from every day. It's a stream of confidence, a stream of comfort, a stream of capability. As long as we're looking at that stream, all hell could be breaking out. That stream is my peace. That stream, hallelujah, is the power of God operating in my life. That stream is my perseverance. That stream is how I'm going to make it another day. I will look to the hill, Psalm 120. I will look to the hill, Psalm 120. I will look through the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made what? Heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Nothing can move you. He that keep Israel, amen, will keep me with his peace. These are sedatives for the saints. These are pain pills for the believers. That every morning I get up, I ought to have a slew of scriptures about me seeing my way out. About God having the last say-so in my life. About not giving up or throwing the towel in, but praising him even in the midst of my problems. God is working it all out. Your children, your marriage, your ministries, your mind, your money. The Lord is working it all out. So what does God want us to do? He wants us to be his audience. Sit back and know that he's God. Satan is a liar. Truth is not in him. The Lord is my strength and my stronghold in the time of trouble. God bless you. Jot down these delivering scriptures and may they be your daily diet of diligence as you wait on God. In Jesus' name.